This is BTV. As silver sets new price records, there's one company poised to take advantage of the opportunity. With the opening of the Shafter Silver Mine, Orcana's annual silver production will quadruple to 5 million ounces. Here's how they're going to do that. headed for Big Bend Country, an overlooked corner of the great state of Texas. It's a couple of hundred miles southeast of El Paso, along the Rio Grande and the mountainous Mexican border. Life is hard here. There's ranching and there's border patrol, not much else. But when a Texan says howdy, he is saying hello friend. And today, these folks are welcoming a newcomer and a new mining project. Orcana's president and CEO, Lenik Rodriguez, is a Mexican entrepreneur, now living in Vancouver. When he took over in 2009, Orcana's cash box was empty, and its prospects were poor. Today is a very special day for, for Orcana Corporation since it represents a major milestone in the evolution of the company as uh, Arcana works into becoming one of the world's preeminent silver mining companies in the world. Only two years later, Senor Rodriguez has resolved the company's finances and turned the company around. He helped acquire and restart Mexico's La Negra mine. Today, it processes 1,500 tons of silver, copper, lead and zinc ore every day, including 1.2 million ounces of silver per year. For the last uh, 20 months, we've been operating on a profitability basis. It's now a cash cow for the company, uh, cash flowing over a million dollars per month to Orcana. Now Orcana is coming to Shafter, Texas, home to the historic and historically rich Presidio Mine. From the late 1800s to 1942, it produced over 35 million ounces of silver at an average grade of 15 and a quarter ounces per ton. And there's lots of silver left. Three, two, one. Now that they've blasted off, Orcana is starting construction on a mine that will harvest the remaining silver and build a new extension of the ore body. We are expecting to put it into production by the middle of 2012. It's so significant an asset uh, for Orcana that it will increase 10% uh, silver production in the U.S. This is a diamond drill hole. Uh, this is one of the over 300 historic drill holes that were put into the property. Orcana gets a huge leg up on this property by essentially having 25, 30 million dollars worth of other people's money invested in the property before they got here. Orcana retained Peter McGaw as a technical consultant because of his world-class knowledge of the deposit types in the area. He was a natural fit. And so you keep tracking those. The Big Bend country is the reason I became a geologist. I got fascinated with what I saw out here, decided I needed to go to school and understand geology and basically have been doing it ever since. Orcana has all its documentation in place. Their 43101 compliant report demonstrates over 20 million ounces of silver measured and indicated and another 22 million inferred. This gives them enough silver for a five-year mine life with potential to upgrade significantly. What gets me excited is this mine doesn't know it's not in Mexico. It doesn't know it's in the U.S. It doesn't know that the Rio Grande is 10 miles that way. This is part of the CRD belt, Carbonate Replacement Deposit Belt of Mexico, which is the backbone of the Mexican underground lead zinc silver mining business. And the aspects and the attributes of what we see in these outcrops around here are exactly the same things that you see in the fringes of those systems in Mexico, which suggests that there's potentially a lot more to this system. The infrastructure is all here. Orcana has completed a full feasibility study and is moving forward on final permitting. With both the Shafter and La Negra mines in operation, Orcana plans to produce a total of 5 million ounces of silver in each of their first two years of operation.
at a cash cost of just $7.60 per ounce. Capital cost is estimated at $45 million, providing payback in less than two years, using the three-year average price of silver at just $15.50 per ounce, even though today silver is trading over $35 an ounce. The exciting thing about this is that um, it's a low-risk project. It's a project which you can encompass easily in, in your head. As a project manager, I live by risk. So when you look at the risk points in this project, they're, they're, they're very few, very minor risks. Financing is in place and construction will take about 18 months. When it's done, it's expected to process about 1,500 tons per day. We have some very competent people in the, in the company, uh, very strong miners. Uh, we, we feel confident we can do this, even though we've just a few years ago translated from being an exploration company to being a producer. The Shafter mine will be the only underground mine in Texas and will bring hundreds of well-paid jobs to this underemployed but very mining friendly part of the country. We've met with all of the um, city council members and mayors of Presidio, Alpine and Marfa. We're working with Texas workforce agencies so we're doing what we can helping the community as far as work, they need employment, but we're also boosting the economy. They're very small communities here, so we're helping boost the economy. The local communities become um, vibrant. When we arrived at La Negra, it was some of ghost town as well, similar chapter. Now uh, there's a construction uh, firm, there's a transportation firm, there are several other things happening there, and that's what we hope it will eventually happen at chapter as well. Orcana's Shafter project is the story of a well-understood resource, a near-term project with a low-risk profile and robust economics. Add to that a proven management team and you've got a primary silver producer ready to go. We'll start next year by becoming a mid-tier silver producer and uh, we're always uh, scouting for new opportunities, uh, especially in the North American continent. I think there are lots of opportunities still in the U.S., in Mexico, Canada, and the rest of, uh, of America. While we were at the Orcana barbecue, we heard that some people like to hold Texas silver in their own hands and pay a premium for it. So Orcana might refine some silver pieces right there on site. In the meantime, you can head on down to their website. They're at arcana.com.